Hey, uh, first off I'd like to apologise for not making a video last week. My internet has been super crazy and uh, I think I finally fixed it. Or, I guess if you're watching this then I fixed it and in that case, yay. So this week's theme is Bedtime Story Week and I've prepared a little bedtime story for you. I call it Fourth Gear. Once upon a time there was this beautiful, handsome, and just around amazing boy. This amazing boy had an appointment. He stood outside the building with a sign that said, Mr. Ed's Driver's Ed. The amazing boy had been there only once before, so courage was scarce. Ten of the fastest minutes he had ever experienced later, he was in the car with who else but Mr. Ed himself. The amazingly handsome boy knew that the car would be a stick shift. Cause only lazy bums drive automatics, he laughed to himself. The lesson began. He started the car. He put the gear on first and then met up with the gas pedal. The road was open. Thank God, the amazing boy thought. But as he glanced to his left, he noticed a rather sinister look on Miss Red's face. Though he chose to ignore it, after all, his dreamly good looks had awoken stronger feelings than others before. Mr. Ed looked to the amazing boy and said, shift to second gear. The amazing boy did. Further down the road, he said, shift to third gear. The amazing boy was startled by this, but obliged. Though he had no idea at the time that about five minutes later, Mr. Ed would ask of him, the despicable. Mr. Ed gathered himself, drew in a breath that made his frog-like throat expand to ridiculous proportions, and then he uttered four single words that together formed the most horrible of things. Shift to fourth gear. Shift to fourth gear. Shift to fourth gear. The amazing boy was startled. He wanted to open the car and lead Mr. Ed to his fate. Instead, he drew a deep breath and shifted the gear to the socket named 4. Then, the most beautiful thing happened. He was surrounded by a white light, and when he emerged, he was no longer inside a car. He was in a great big hall, and gathered there were the people dear to him his mother and father, his best friend, Gerard Butler, his sister, and all of his close mates. They ate blue cake and danced all night long. The end. So I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> okay, um, on with the questions. So since I didn't make a video last week, I thought I'd answer both questions from last week and this week, so it might have to keep it snappy. Scott, uh, when I was a child, I wanted to become either a fighter pilot or a pirate. And uh, no, no pets. I'm allergic to all kinds of animals, but I've always liked dogs and been afraid of cats because they're scary. As you know, I've never been tanning, ever. Uh. Jeff, uh, the most stupid thing I've said. I don't remember things I say, I remember things I do, and I remember a stupid thing I did when I was little. I spent about $50 on a vending machine for gums, you know, different colours. <laughs> and uh, that wasn't very popular with the parents at the time. Or uh, now, even, I think. <laughs> Ooh, nice choice with the 360. I'm more of a PS3 guy, though, but all of my friends have 360, so I've played that a great deal, so... Uh, Russell, I don't even know where Klondike Bar is, so um, I wouldn't really do anything for it. And my favourite toy, uh, I guess my DS, because it's just amazing and I can take it anywhere I want with me. Not that I do though, but just the possibility of that I might someday is enough for me at this point. And I see that you're hogging the sun. Um, that's nice, because uh, the sun kind of forsaken us Scandinavians a long time ago. Ryan, fun fact, I'm one fourth Russian, so great. <laughs> so when do I go to bed? Uh, don't ask. Just let's just say, uh, never before midnight. <laughs> and uh, the prize I would like to win, I would choose the Nobel Peace Prize, because that would be awesome and sweet. No, I'm joking. 
And I saw in the video on your other personal channel that you liked J-Lo stress, and oh my god, please. It looked like that woman had just woken up, rolled around in some bubble wrap, and then stepped onto the red carpet. It was, um, it was insane. <laughs> what the hell? And now I shall leave you. Um, my question for this week is, what's your favourite quote? Anyways, I'll see you next week. Cheers.